invite your friends and all the believers across the world greetings in the precious name of jesus christ in the morning our devotion is centered on the immutability of the sabbath there's a lot of hue and cry going in the last few weeks preachers coming up with enthusiastic and false allegations against the church of god the international movement of god seventh day adventists as i have not teased many preachers are totally ignorant about the history about the development and the universality of the message presented by the seventh day adventist church they say that we are speaking about the cult neither they know what is cult or what is a church neither do they know why to rent they are in an embarrassed in an anxious in a disturbed state of mind the preachers are in panic because they are getting answers from the word of god regarding the validity of the sabbath on the outset i want to say the holy sabbath is the most outstanding and the oldest institution in the entire history of the world if the sabbath is changed to our whims and fancies the whole system of god will be under attack today what is happening in the whole world is because the so called ignorant preachers and the so called opposers of the holy sabbath are trying to find loopholes and false theories and pseudo enthusiasm to establish that the holy sabbath is done away with mind you if the holy sabbath is done away with it is better that you be an atheist or a darwinist or a communist and end up your life in the camp of satanic mediums today universally satan the false prophet and the beast are established a mark of the beast which is the sunday system which is the worship on the sunday against the seal of god the holy sabbath remember the sabbath day to keep it holy that is the fourth commandment portrayed in exodus 20th chapter 8 to 11 and the details are given over there you have to abide by the principles given and endowed by the god of heaven now the so called preachers of hallucinations and fancies they declare that the sabbath was an old thing it was for jews it was for the old testament time mind you if the book of genesis is deleted from the bible there is no credibility for the book of revelation and the preacher also accused that his sister ellen white is the establisher of the seventh day sabbath what a foolish tragedy you are speaking about 
about. You do not know who Ellen White is, nor what Sabbath is. Ellen G. White is was born in 1827 in Maine, Massachusetts. She was a Methodist. She would have died at the age of 17 due to an accident. But the great God of heaven appelled by his great grace and she has become the renowned, the most renowned female author of the entire universe today. She is an author of more than 50 to 60 books. To that, when we close our eyes and say she is Isabel, you are in a fool's paradise. O oh, preacher, you open your eyes. You open and read the books of history. Read the precious volumes of Ellen White such as Step to Christ, Messages to Young People, The Great Controversy, Acts of the Apostles, Desire of Ages, and Prophets and Kings. Instead of that, you are telling Ellen White is something which is strange to you you are speaking with a devilish medium you are in the camp of satan i want to assert to you the seventh day adventist preachers might be preaching to you so that your eyes may be reopened and you may come to senses whether you may be X or Z or Y, it does not matter to us. It matters that you are a child of God, now perverted by the satanic forces and under the whims and fancies of papal Rome or false prophets. But the word of God says, the Holy Sabbath is to be kept and it is the day of worship and the memorial of creation acts 2123 says jesus blessed and sanctified this oldest institution and given to mankind of rest and communion with god it is god does not want a rest for himself to the created human beings. God gave this blessed institution to commune with his, her creator God. When you are saying it is a rest day and it is nothing more, you are just lulled and comforted by the satanic and devilish mediums. Mind you, you have to empty your whole heart and you have to empty yourself totally so that you can come to the glorious light that is shining across the fourth commandment. What is the tragedy of the world? What is the tragedy in your personal house, in your personal village, in this state of Kerala and in the whole country of India and in the whole of the nations and the universe? They are under the grip of the COVID-19 and helpless. Why it happened? Because the whole universe and the state of in Kerala and the country of India is indulged in idolatry and Sabbath breaking. These are the two national mistakes that are committed by the so-called Christians of today. The clergy does not 
teach the people what they should do Ezekiel says the priests are blind blinding the leading the blind they do not open up the scriptures they do not show the right and wrong they do not make understand the sanctity of the sabbath instead they are teaching a false doctrine of sunday worship which is unknown and an illicit child of roman papacy mind you when the paper powers have declared in the years 538 that we have changed the holy sabbath from saturday to sunday who is the pentecostals on the face of this earth telling that they are the upkeepers of the sunday system you are not you are simply a victim or a simple prey or an alleged ally ally to the papal rule mind you luther broke away from papacy because he nailed 95 theses in on 1590 1597 at the door of the wittenberg university which is termed as the dawn of protestantism but the so called pentecostals are in a great tragic situation they are simply roaring shouting in the name of other languages in the name of some new senses and anti biblical principles they are leading the whole world into oblivion and into the hands of devil they proclaim the name of jesus but they haven't understood the jesus who is the keeper of the holy sabbath they have to re recognize who jesus is mark 2:27 and 28 says the son of man is also the lord of the sabbath you preach about jesus as a healer jesus as a good friend jesus as the uh, deliverer absolutely good but mind you you haven't understood jesus as the lord of the sabbath and as the creator of the universe and the revelation 14:6 and 7 says worship the creator god jesus on the holy sabbath day because the judgment hour is come hence the seventh day adventist is church is delivered to the universe with a specific purpose of warning the whole world whether you are priests or laity or preachers or false preachers or true preachers or religionists or non religionists it is the purpose of the seventh day adventist to warn you that jesus is coming soon as the king of kings and you will be doomed if you disobey the commandments of god and acknowledge the testimony of jesus the need of the hour is repent of your sins and the 10 commandments are the mirror making you aware that you are filled with the dirt as apostle james says you are throwing the mirror and breaking it down and telling that you are clean brother halvin and others are in a great danger this morning i appeal to you to be quiet for a day open the scriptures pray to 
the Almighty God. Reread the Ten Commandments and acknowledge the Holy Sabbath, which is ordained and which is set aside by Jesus, the creator of the universe, who is the executive of the final judgment. In order to be delivered from the great judge of the universe and in order to put a stop to the commandment breaking of the neglection of the Holy Sabbath. I appeal to you and all the preachers and all the people across the world to be reviewing the word of God and to be observers of the Holy Sabbath and uphold its manners so that you will be acceptable to God by His abundant grace. Amen. Dr. J. Tito Aratola, 7th day Adventist Mission Center, Maranikula, 6885-23, Alapi, Kerala. WhatsApp number 9186063774399. Gmail, taratukulam at gmail.com. Thank you.